Hello, it's me again. And as you can see from my messy desk, I have an idea. I saw this lady um, on, <clears throat> it was doing a December daily and she decided to make a tag with mosaics. Well, it gave me an idea. So um, I decided that I would do something similar for my day nine. And I cut out, I, I chose six of these little, um, most, these little tiles, and I wanted them all to be the same size. And then I was like, what kind of a background can I do? I want them to be sort of like this. It's going to be a little bit longer than I normally make um, because this one I'm kind of going by the seat of my pants a little bit. <laughs> just kind of playing it by ear and hoping it, it'll work, it'll work. I know it'll work, I just, um, um, anyway. So this little thing right here, I want to put on, I wanna put these on here because what I'm gonna do is I, this is in Tracy Fox's member area. So I wanted to use this as my background just because, I don't know, I like it. I like it. So I'm gonna use this as the background. So I need to figure out about how big these are gonna be. And I think about here is gonna do it. Right like that. So I'm gonna get my cutter and I'm gonna cut that out. And this is probably gonna be I don't have some left over. Isn't this the kind of really cool paper? And I'm not gonna worry, I'm just gonna cut off the edges, these white edges. I'm not gonna really worry about the top yet because I don't know how big I wanna make it. Depends on this. Um, and I need to have a little room around it. So, of course, I'm not going to worry about inking it yet. I'm going to worry about it. And this is going to be um, the journal card. So I'm going to make this into a little journal card. And I'm going to put this underneath, like in a pocket, so that I can journal about what I am. And I, I could just actually just leave it like that. I also thought that was really pretty. I may just keep it like that. I, I, I kind of like that one better now that I'm looking at it. Um, so what I have done is I've cut out, I don't know if you can see this, I've cut out tiny little, I've printed out tiny little pictures of my puppy Piper, and I'm going to use these underneath these pictures, if all goes well. So I can cut these out, because I made them so that I would be able to cut them out very easily, um, line them up like that. These are just, I just wanted to, um, ooh, look, my, looks like my thingy is, my thingy, my thingy getting a little, what do you call it, raggedy, my time, they go, these blades go so, um, they get dull so easily, so yes, yeah, so I'm doing two days at a time today, because why not, so, how can I not do a memory about my little Piper. Piper. Some of these pictures are really cute, and I know you can't really see them because they're tiny, but pictures of her sleeping, pictures of her playing with the cat, pictures of her just, just being herself. Remember these things. 
she's really one of the sweetest uh, puppies. I haven't had a Chihuahua in a long time. I mean, well, I had Mia, but, um, but she had gotten to the point where she couldn't really even be around you that much because she was so tiny, y'all. So tiny. And she would fall and and she was so old and she couldn't hardly walk anymore. And she never really was a, I mean, she would snuggle, like get under the couch and, you know, get under the, the, um, the blankets and stuff. But she wasn't like, oh, she wasn't like a really big snuggler like this one is. This one's like a super, I mean, she wants to be in my arms, which I just adore. I'm going to make this, go ahead and make this really quick because it's easy one to make. Just by sticking all this stuff down. Making a journal card. I haven't even got the number out. I don't know what color the number is, but I don't care. This is going to be, if this works the way I want it to, this is going to be so super cool. I think. Different. Maybe not super cool, but definitely different. Definitely different. <laughs> so this is like I don't know I just she had this she just glued the um, mosaics on a piece of paper that's all she did and made it into a tag so I thought huh you know what I might be able to work with that a little bit and perhaps like um, make something pretty cool so that's what I'm gonna do yeah, this has some stenciling on the back. I think I was going to use it for a journal. I need to make... Remember, I think this weekend is when everything, all the junk journals in my shop are 50% off. We'll see. All right, that'll be a nice journal card. Nice, nice, nice. Set that aside. So this little thing I cut out, because I think it's perfect to go around there. This is actually one and three quarters. So I got this parchment paper. I'm going to cut some strips. Oh, I just moved this. Make sure I'm still in frame. I'm trying to keep this is my area. <laughs> One and three quarters. I probably should stick it down. Right? One and three quarters? That's what I said, right? That's what I said. Let's see. So this would be like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of these. And because I have a lot of this paper. Okay. This is probably enough. And then I'm going to go to... I need six of them. One, two, three, four. I didn't need that many. Well, it's fine. And five. And six. Six of those. Put the rest of this aside. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, this is going to seem squirrely, but I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to get my little scoreboard. And I'm going to score these all at a quarter inch. Whoops. So this should still fit right there on that, like that. I think it's easier from this end.
Whoops. Hmm, it'll be all right. So way. So then this would be like it would be okay. Um. So I'll take my bone folder. Fold all these in. I never know which way you're supposed to fold these. Just, you know, I mean, any of y'all know, leave me a comment. I think some people say you're supposed to fold them towards the little lump, and some people say, um, so, I don't know. I'm going to go around each of these like this. You guys know what I'm going to do now, don't you? You are so smart. <laughs> and go around each of these like this. This is something different. I just, I just dreamt. I was like, you know, I want to do this. So, you know me. It's like, oh, look at what time it is. I just think about it. Think, think, think. Until I can't think no more. Okay. And I think it would be the best thing if I um, angled these a little tiny bit. Just a smit. Let me put this on top of here, and that way I can just dump it. I'm sorry, I mumble. Somebody said I mumble. I'm sorry to mumble. What I said was I was just going to dump these on top of this so that I can just dump it in the in the trash instead of um, trying to come up with them. I'm just going to snip a little bit off of this side. I really do like the positive, the, the feedback, even if it's negative, if there's something that you don't like or, you know, you know, sometimes I'll take it into consideration and sometimes I'll just be like, thank you for your comment, <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Okay. So now I need to figure out, let's see, actually it'd probably be better just because they're flat. Um, it's going to have to be like that. And like that. And like that. Is it going to be bigger than my book? <laughs> Maybe it might be bigger than my book. Let me see. I got me. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a line right here. Like that. A line right here, like that. And I can move those. And I think, oh, and I can do it that way. It's fine. And then a line like this, like that. And then I can go in here and make sure that it's a straight line. Let me do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's a straight line. And I can go there, there, and 
there. Then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use this as a grid. Like this. And here. Except that it's right there. See what I'm doing? I'm kind of like trying to eyeball things. <laughs> it may not work very well, but should be close. Because this is actually one and three quarters is what it's supposed to be. So I can go down one and three quarters. And do another one right here. Then this one here. And this one. Okay, now these guys, I want them, I don't know if that should open, I think they're all going to open up that way. That's a good idea. So this will be a quarter inch. I'll do it that way and a quarter inch on this side. And then, draw lines here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut into this right in those slits. Like that. And the same thing on the other side. And I probably did it. Whoops. Uh oh. It's okay, you won't see it. Okay. This is what I have here. So then I'm going to take these and I'm going to put some. I guess I should ink around both sides, huh? Take these, and I'm going to take my, I'll put it in here, and I'm going to glue that right there. So this will open like this. I'm going to do that to all of them. This one I didn't cut long enough. Weird. That's fine. Just cut it a little bit more. And glue this here. Okay, looks like some of them I didn't cut long enough. It's okay. That one. Then this will be at least even. Get 
over and make sure it's even. Cute. This is kind of cute, y'all. I don't know what you think of this, but this is different. Definitely be a sweet tribute to my puppy. Got a little, that's okay. It will be okay. And the last one is here. Okay. That here. Come on now, get in there. It's going to be fine. Okay, that's what I have. And then now I'm going to put these little guys on top. Okay, I'm thinking this is really cute. <laughs> And I want to put this bird down here. And it's the cutest little thing to do with the tiles, I think. Okay, now for the pictures. Let me go ahead and ink them all really quick. That's her sleeping. I don't know if you can see that, but she's snuggled under the blanket. <laughs> this is one of the pictures when she got a shot and she was sick. And this is just her snuggling. There's a snuggle bunny. Her playing with Mr. Kitty. That cat hates everybody, but he loves this dog, which is so crazy. And this is just her pretty little face. <laughs> and this is her with a chewy. She's got it in her mouth. It looks like she's smoking. <laughs> but thought it's cute. I guess you guys have to be dog lovers. So I know a lot of my people are dog lovers. Um, so I'm just going to like pop them underneath there. Should I get them halfway straight? There. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this is a cute idea. <laughs> and kitty cat picture. That, this one. And here. Love it all. <laughs> so cute.
And that's there. Puppy butt. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into, uh, I think I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. I think. Just a smidge. And then I'm going to cut so it looks like a tag. And then I'm going to ink around it. Big tag, big tag. <laughs> see a little bit of that. I'm going to cut that off. And a little bit of this one too. It's really cute. And now I want to, I'd like to, I think this will go in really perfectly just like that. So I need to find a tab, I think, to go on that. And since it's that color, what I might do is just get a something, a something, something. I got my book box here, so I'm going to look at this really quick. I think this would be a cute tab. Let me see if it'll, it'll work on here. I think it will. Mm, no, it won't. Okay, let's see if I can find something else. Um... So I think I want to something like that. And the beauty of having um, one of these kits is that you can print it out again um, and again and again and again. So it's like um, it's pretty. I might put a star. Oh, that's cute. I like that star right there. Um, so it's like if I if I use something and I and I'm like, oh, I use that. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, here, this won't work. Um, I can always print it out again. These make perfect things. Let me. Uh, so I can put the journal card in there. Let it have a little bit of Let it have a little bit of space to pull it out. Like that. There. Pretty. And I like this, but I want to back it on to some of this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this down. Ink it a little bit. Because I want it to kind of go with everything else and we'll put this on here and I'm just gonna shove it on here like that and then cut around it I was thinking too that I might want to um, have a little sentiment I don't know if I like those let me see my little I have a little baggie. I have baggie with sentiments. And I really wanted the one that says it's cold outside. I think that would be, yeah. yeah here's the numbers. I'm gonna need my numbers. Um, wait, I saw it. I saw it. There it is. And I think there's one that says it's cold outside. And I think that would be. 
cute. Um, yeah, it's cold outside. I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> yes, Tina. And this is day 10. No, day nine. Day nine, it's day nine. Nine. So, I just like them a little, just a little bit. See, and when I first saw this, I didn't know if it was a nine or a um, if it was a nine or a six, and I guess it doesn't matter. But I was like, is this a nine or is this a six? But it it ended up being a nine, and I I just looked up the I pulled back up the the kit so I could see which was the nine and which was the six, and I guess it doesn't matter. Um, But you never know. So, I mean, not only, I mean, this is like, I mean, I know you think that, you know, this is all about the December daily, but honestly, a lot of these ideas you can just use in a junk journal. So if you have a junk journal, um, you can use these ideas in a junk journal. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, the December daily. This would be um, a really good idea to put in a junk journal, like for a, a, a relative with pictures of them or pictures of grandchildren. Or I think it would be really, um, really a cool idea. So I wonder if I should put this on here or put it down here. I think I'm going to put it on here. I think that I have enough on that. So put it right here. Okay. And I'm going to put this guy right here. There. I'll do my trick here. My glue. And then there you go. So get my book, wherever it is. And get the book. Have the mess. <laughs> this here. It's almost going to stick out. That's okay. And number nine is going to have to go somewhere up here because it's not going to fit anywhere else. Okay, the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this will stick out so I don't want it to go past here. So when I glue, I know that I can glue up here, down here. Not quite that much, but I'm going to go a little bit down here. And and all over here because I don't want this to go in too far, get lost. really big it's really big <laughs> and then I'm gonna put this I'm just gonna stop it right there put it right there 
and uh, maybe right there, like that. How cute! I like it. So I have, and then this will fit right that. Ta da! There's paper. I like it. Let me know. Oh, and I'm shaking the table. Sorry, you guys. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you're having fun, what you would use this for, how would you use it in your journals? And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.